is a thing that you can do to manage your hyperfocus meditation. Writing down a list of what you need to put your attention into. Being aware, uh, mindfulness. Uh, catch up the wandering mind before it takes place. Okay, so um, uh, now let's talk about scatter focus. Uh, so scatter focus brings you into a creative mood, basically. So you can switch the scatter focus, which is the wandering mind with attention, into creative um, mode. A pathway that will lead you into um, brainstorming ideas for your goals or your future intention of things that you are concerned and you can boost your creativity higher this way. Um, so, uh, all right, scatter focus is uh, when you are most creative. So it's impo impossible to set future attention when you immerse in the present. So by taking, stepping back and directing your attention inward, you're able to switch off autopilot and consider what you do next. Tom will go briefly on this. Uh, let's see. How hyperfocus helps you scatter focus. There are numerous ways to guide your mind to wander even more productively when practicing attentional scatter focus. Meanwhile, hyperfocus scatter focus could not be more different. Hyperfocus is about focusing on one thing, and scatter focus is about focusing on nothing in particular. With hyperfocus, you direct your attention outward. With scatter focus, you direct your attention inward. One is about attention, the other one is about inattention. So the two mental modes are even anti-correlated when the brain network that supports scalar focus is activated. All right. But to practice habitual scalar focus, pick something simple that you enjoy doing and carry out that one task and nothing else until your mind wanders. Uh, the simple the task, the better going for a walk will enhance greater insight and connect more ideas than listening to music or reading book. You can also practice habitual scatter focus with mandatory tasks that are already part of your day. So, a little drinking a cup of coffee, walking to work, doing your laundry. Uh, scalar focus become more important than the moment between tasks. Uh, and uh, also connecting ideas is a great thing. Alright. Um, so here's a, a list of uh, boring um, list of things uh, that you can do uh, to shut off all distraction uh, and being okay with being bored. So here's the things that you can do, like watching grass grow, staring out the train window. Uh, watching one cloud in the sky, waiting at the hospital, uh, watching a drippy, dripping faucet, making dots on a sheet of paper, eating alone in a restaurant without a book or a phone, watching a clock, um, staring at the ceiling. And so this will allow your mind to just uh, rest. Not do anything, just, just allow yourself to be okay with being born and, and shut down the worries and all these um, worries and putting in your head for no reason. Uh, when should you recharge your attention? Well, here's a little proverb. Rest is not idleness and to lie sometime on the 
grass under the tree on a summer day, listening to a murmur of water, watching the cloud float across the blue sky is by no means a waste of time. So replenish your mental energy. The more energy we have for our most important task, as our mental energy is still depleted throughout the day, so to does our ability to focus. So recharging is critical and worth the time of investment. Getting enough sleep uh, increases your attentional space by 58%. Um, so when your attentional space is at least 60%, productivity can grow by just as much, especially when we're working on a demanding task. Um, so if you're running low on energy, you should recharge your attention by deliberately, deliberately entering scattering, uh, scatter focus mode, switching often among tasks and being able to sustain focus on one thing, losing your grip on your attention and working in a more reactive way, getting tasks done at a noticeably slower rate, uh, opting to do less important, more mindless work, and intentionally sleeping into scale of focus mode. So doing more refreshing breaks, uh, break task that doesn't require energy. Low effort and habitual walk, going for latte, doing some relaxed yoga, swimming, uh, something you surely want to do, shopping, eating out, going to a movie, uh, going on a road trip, something that isn't a shower, um, reading a good magazine, watching a good movie, create a video on Facebook, um, those little things. Mm -hmm. going on at your walk, running uh, outside, meditating, reading something fun. All right, so I'm going to go, um, come back. I'm going to talk about sleep next. And um, then I'm going to go with uh, becoming more creative, connecting the dots on part two and uh it's gonna be a short episode so i hope you um you're gonna practice all this and do all the little small um uh, list and exercise and uh then you learn a lot uh, about hyper focus and scale of focus today and if you have any questions let me know i can refer back and help you and maybe give you some insight so i hope everybody has a wonderful day bye